Hey, what's up guys? Luke here today from LukeDemarco.com and today I'll be showing you guys how to get iOS 4, the Gold Masters Edition, onto your iOS 4 ready device like the iPod Touch 2G, iPod Touch 3G, iPhone 3G, or iPhone 3GS. Ever since I did the overview of iPhone OS 4 back when the beta was first released, a lot of people have been asking me how they can get it on their device, and unfortunately before with the beta, you had to register your UDID, which is your iPhone signature, your iPod Touch signature, with Apple as an Apple developer, but now Apple has released the GM of iOS 4, which is the Gold Master Edition, uh, which is like, in terms of like the Windows operating systems, it's like a release candidate. It's coming down to the official release date, which is June 21st, 2010. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get it for free a little bit early, and it's the full-blown OS. Right now I only have um, iPhone OS 4 Beta 4 running on my iPhone. So right now I'm actually going to upgrade it to the, uh, the new GM candidate. I'm gonna uh, teach you guys how to do it as well. So you need three things in order to be able to do this. The first thing you need is iTunes 9.2, the beta for it, um, and that rises kind of a problem. Uh, unfortunately this tutorial is only for my Mac users uh, because iTunes 9.2 is only released, the uh, 9.2 beta is only released for Mac right now. So sorry about that Windows guys, uh, if you can get a hold of Mac you can do this tutorial as well. Uh, the second thing you need is Firefox, the web browser that can be shown right down here in my dock. And the third thing you need is the actual firmware file itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post, uh, there'll be a link down in the side, in the, in the bottom bar, there'll be a link in the bottom bar to uh, my website where you can download the iTunes 9.2 beta. And you can also download, there'll be uh, a link there for each of the devices. So it'll say iPod Touch 2G, 3G, iPhone 3G, and iPhone 3GS. So if you have an iPhone 3G like this one, download the 3G firmware in Firefox, not Safari. And uh, download all the firmware. Don't download all the firmwares. But when you're downloading your firmware, download it in Firefox, not Safari. Because I know Safari kind of screws it up. And if you have an iPhone 3GS or an iPod Touch 2G, just download the corresponding firmware to whatever device you need. Once you have both of those downloaded, install iTunes 9.2. Uh, it took me like 60 seconds to install it. It wasn't that big at all. And then uh, what, right, what I've got right here, I've got uh, the uh, iPhone 4.0 GM Restore uh, right on my desktop there. So what you want to do is you want to open up iTunes just like this and make sure that your iPhone or your iPod Touch is plugged into iTunes and it's recognizing it in the sidebar right there. Then what you want to do is sync it or back it up so that it backs up all your contacts, your uh, music, your information, all your text messages and all that because they will all be gone once you do that. So right now as you can see up there it says uh, backing up Luke DeMarco's iPhone. So uh, it's going pretty quick there. So you back up your iPhone and you will have all of your information still good to go when you install the 4.0 GM. Once you've backed up your iPhone or your iPod Touch with your computer, what you want to do now is take your mouse, hold down Option on your keyboard, and click Restore while you're holding Option. That should bring up this little um, browser, browser window here. And right now, navigate to the I IPSW file, which is the restore file that you just downloaded. So right here, uh, it's 396.2 megabytes for the iPhone 3GS firmware. I'm just going to click Choose. And that will open it. And, this, and a notification will pop up that says, iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iPhone OS 4.0 software and will verify the restore with Apple. So just click Restore. And it'll go through the restoring process. You'll have to extract the software and all that shenanigans. We'll just wait for it here. Quick update while we're actually going through this restore and before I kind of skip ahead. Some of you guys noticed that my account was suspended a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I got it sorted out with YouTube. I got my Dimco Productions account back, but I didn't get my Luke DeMarco's vlog or my Quick iPod Touch Help account back. Uh, so I've started up the new second vlog, uh, not the new second channel, but I've just kind of been using youtube.com slash Luke DeMarco as my uh, second channel. So it's verifying the iPhone restore with Apple just to make sure it's a legit iPhone. It's preparing the iPhone for restore. You guys, there's my iPhone screen right there. I don't know what it's doing. We're on an Apple boot logo right now. Uh, 
Okay, so now it's been telling me that my iPhone has been restored to factory settings and it's restarting. Please, your, please leave your iPhone connected. It will appear in iTunes in just a few seconds. Um, all right, so I've got an Apple logo on my iPhone here. We're waiting for it to appear in the left, my left, I guess. Yeah, no, it'd be your left too. Um, I guess we're, we're waiting for it to appear in the left-hand sidebar. I know that progress bar is going to go really quick because I, I'm pretty much a freaking iPhone wizard by now. Uh, because I've actually done everything in my power to unlock this and unfortunately I was an idiot and I upgraded so I mean basically because of that iPhone I'm an iPhone ninja now it's giving me a uh, a one of these guys which means that my iPhone is locked and I'm waiting for it or my iPhone's well right now that's if you've never seen a bricked iPhone that's what a bricked iPhone looks like so I'm just waiting for it to appear in my sidebar here which it's recognized it but yeah, that's what. And now I actually have functionality. As you see here, it says iPhone is activated right there. Um, I can dismiss this. It says edit the home screen, so I can edit the home screen to have it whatever I want. And as you can see there, when Apple debuted iOS 4, the utilities were all in one folder, just like that. So that's what it's got now. It's got the utilities all in one folder. Um, on the next page there, it's got the game center and the contacts. And if I just go to settings, and then I go to general and then about it should say I have I want to hide my serial number so I'm good that uh, yeah I have the 4.0 uh, general care gold master candidate on there so guys that's how you do it if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I'll try my best to uh, answer them and actually when you're at this screen just uh, either restore from your backup which I'm going to do um, should I restore from my backup um, I might just start as a new iPhone and I'll, I'll just restore shit later. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm just going to end this video. So guys, this has been Luke from LukeDemarco.com. Uh, so restore your iPhone or iPod Touch right after this or set up your iPhone. Um, just put in the shit that you need to and uh, follow this video tutorial. If you need any help, leave a comment in the comment section below or, do, or follow my Facebook fan page, which is just face, search on Facebook Luke DeMarco like the fan page and ask me a question on there because I usually answer questions on there. So guys, this has been Luke from LukeDemarco.com. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bam!